Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we unlocked the final ending for the Namon Musa mode. And now, we're going to go and get the endings for Yuan Shao's Musa mode. And the first ending we're going to get is ending number one. And you already know it, but I'll say it again. In order to get ending number one for any of the Musa modes, mind you, you have to do the following. You have to have an average KO count of less than 200, an average point total amount of less than 4,000, an average time played amount of more than 20 minutes, and if you're going to really bother with the amount of stages that you need to play, uh, 5 or less, well, for you want Shadows Musa mode specifically. But um, as you saw, there are two other ways that you can actually get ending number 1. One of them I have done with the Naman. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about doing that here. But I'll mention it again to get the not well, the other way is as long as your KO count is under 200 and as long as your time amount is over 20 minutes, the points and the amount of stages are irrelevant. However, every other time I have done this, minus the Naman Musa mode, I have done the following. I basically tried to go for ending number two. Well, use the methods for that anyway. Get a high KO count over 200, a high uh, point total amount over 4,000, and a high time played amount, which is over 20 minutes. And uh, if you were to get any number two for you want Shadows Musa mode, you would have to play six stages or more. But if you play less than six stages, you would get any number one with those requirements. So. That's what I'm going to do here, since it's the easiest, and there are, if I'm not mistaken, the maximum amount of stages that you can actually play is 8, and I believe the minimum might be 4. Um, I'll find that out in a bit, but uh, anyway, uh, let's get started. Let me make sure that the difficulty is actually on, yeah, okay. So I want to make sure it's on hard, but uh, yeah, so, yeah, new Musa mode. New game. Uh, so I have three characters to play as. I still have Chen Lin because I still need to unlock her. Uh, well, get her weapon to level nine, and obviously I have Yuan Shao and Zheng He. So I will start this one off by. Huh. I don't want to make it that difficult. You know what? I haven't played as Yuan Shao in a long time, so I might as well start off with him. And uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't show. Actually, I pre I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I show off the fourth model, but uh, I'll show it off here. So here we go. Intolerable! This madman has deceived the people into self-ruin. A beautiful flower must one day shed its petals, much like the Han. Be quiet! Do not even think such things! Let us go then, my lord. Restoring peace and tranquility is the duty of a loyal Han retainer. Yes. The proud Yuan family blood also flows through my veins. To battle! Henceforth, we do not stop until we crush the Yellow Turban Rebellion! The Han Dynasty, long the center of power, suffers from internal strife and corruption. Led by the leader Zhang Jiao, the followers of the religious sect known as the Way of Peace band together to form the Yellow Turban Army and rise up in protest to the corruption besieging the land. In response to this dire situation, the Imperial Court sends a call of arms across the land, raising an army under the command of General Hergine to combat the Yellow Turban threat. Amongst these brave warriors, the distinguished figure of Yuan Shao stands out from the rest. So, pretty much, I'm going to go right into the Yellow Turban Rebellion and take it from there. So, here we go. Because, like I said, we have to make sure our stage played amount is five or less and i'm pretty sure we'll be able to get four but i know we'll definitely get five so anyway the equipment the weapon we have a sort of honor at level eight i'm pretty sure we're not going to get it to level nine but uh we'll try the items i'll leave it as is 
the bodyguards. Uh, I did mystery last time. Uh, let's do KOE. Um, you know what? Pike. There you go. The objectives. It's the same. We have to either defeat Zhang Jiao or have him retreat. And uh, we can't allow either myself or her Jean to fall or the time running out. The unit info. For the Han forces, you have Her Jean and Yuan Xiao, which is me. Zhao Xiao, Zhen Ji, and Zhang Liao. Sun Jian, Wang Gai, and Zhou Tai. Liu Bei, Ma Chao, and Wang Zhang. For the Yellow Turbans, you have Zhang Jiao, Wang Xiao, Liu Pi, Zhou Song, and Han Xian. Zhang Bao, Zhang Munchang, and Guan Hai. Zhang Liang, Bo Zhang, and Deng Mao. Pei Yuan Xiao, He Yi, and Yan Zhang and Cheng Yuanji and Gao Shang. So, pretty much the same thing. I mean, like I said, it's been a while since I've actually played the Yellow Turban Rebellion under the Han forces, or Yuan Shao's Musa mode, so to speak. So, anyway, let's do it. And, uh, like I said, a lot of KOs, a lot of points, and take our sweet ass time. Unleash your rage, my chosen children! Unleash your rage upon the Han and bring forth the age of the Yellow Turbans! Cao Cao will penetrate enemy lines from the east, while Sun Jian attacks from the west. The volunteer forces will break through the middle and join the other forces. And for the fact that I actually, um, Skip both the Yellow Turban Menace and the Yellow Turban Fortress. Zhang Bao and Zhang Liang will be here pretty much like any other time that you play this stage. Um, and I'm pretty sure in free mode it's the same thing. I don't know why I didn't set my bodyguards to stay where I need them to stay, but I defeated both Her Yi and Yan Zhang, so it doesn't matter anyway. Alright, so now that's taken care of, we'll go to the right and defeat Gao Shang. My only concern is, is the time. For the first two stages I'm going to play, which is this, and the Battle of Hulao Gate, I will pretty much... I, I'm going to bank that I'm not going to hit the time acquired for those two. But the rest is very easy to pull off because, uh, if I recall, Sao Sao does not retreat at the Battle of Guandu. It's only one shell. And, uh... He needs to stop blocking. Um, and in the campaign against uh, Stages, the campaign against Sun Jian, and the campaign against Liu Bei, they will not retreat either. So, I don't have to worry about that. Um, so, I'll make it up in those three stages if I don't hit over 20 minutes for these two. Because, like I said, um, in this stage, and obviously in the Battle of Hulao Gate, the commando will retreat if you trigger a certain thing. And, uh, for the Yellow Turban Rebellion, you have to defeat every officer and general on the stage, whether it's you or an AI. So, once you do that, then secure the back gate behind Zhang Jiao, he will retreat. Well, pretty much the game will end, and he will retreat. Because there'll be a stage like the Battle of Hulao Gate, where Dong Zhuo will retreat. But then you actually have time to try to actually catch up to him and defeat him before he actually retreats. Regardless whether you defeat him or not, you will win. But the fact of the matter is here, in comparison, when you trigger the objective to have Zhang Jiao retreat, you won't be able to do anything. So, just a little heads up on that. Anyway, so, now that we defeated Pei Yuan Xiao, we're going to go and defeat Chung Yuan Ji. And then, uh, we'll take it from there. Because I don't have to worry about this stage as much. I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue, if anything. Um, the only issue really is the, uh, Zhang, bro uh, the Zhang brothers. Because they will entice sorcery, as you all know. And, uh, Zhang Liang will entice a, uh, they'll entice boulders to go around and start, you know, you, you already know. But he'll entice boulders, and then Zhang, uh, Zhang Bao will entice flame geysers. And uh, you need to defeat both of them in order to cancel out their particular sorcery. 
and I think I mentioned before, and I'll say it again, uh, if you actually get hit by a boulder, even if you have this horse, the Shadow Harness, you will get knocked off. I think that's the only exception to the rule of uh, the Shadow Harness. Like, they, can not, they can attack you on your horse and you won't be able to get knocked off. They can hit you with arrows and you won't get knocked off. You can get hit with geysers and you won't get knocked off. I think the only two exceptions are boulders and I think wind. But I think that's in Dynasty Warriors 5. So, uh... I don't want to pay mind to that until I actually see it again, if it's there. Cause it's been a while, and uh, I vaguely recall wind in this game. I remember seeing it in five, and I definitely see, did I see any other stages? But anyway, um, we'll face Dung Mao now. Yeah, my head's all over the place thinking of stuff, but uh, yeah. So we defeated Dung Mao. Now we're gonna go and defeat. Jam, uh, Bo Zhang. Jam and Chong's on the other side. What am I saying? But, um. Hold on a sec. Oh, yeah, right. So, if we skip the bat. Well, since we skipped these two stages, the, uh, Jam and Chong and Bo Zhang will actually be a lot easier to defeat. Unfortunately, though, you're going to have to deal with the sorcery. But um, if you defeat both Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao in their respective stages, the Yellow Turban uh, Menace and the Yellow Turban Fortress, then uh, let's not get hit. But um, as I was saying, if you defeat them both in their stages prior to the Yellow Turban Rebellion, they will not appear here, and you don't have to worry about their sorcery. But you're going to have to deal with... Uh, Zhang Wanchong and Bo Zhang having uh, an extra uh, defensive and in some cases offensive boost because you'll see them have this yellow aura around them and they'll be a lot stronger than a normal non-playable so that's the only lookout for that and we defeated Zhang Liang so don't have to worry about the boulders anymore on a rare occasion, you might see a boulder just rolling there. And uh, if you do see that, just try to go around it and not hit it. Granted, if you break it, you don't have to worry about it anymore. But the fact of the matter is, it'll still hurt you. Even though it's, you know, even though Zhang, uh, Zhang Liang is... Uh, yeah, just lost my train of thought. Um... It will still hurt you, despite the fact that you defeated Shang Liang. Anyway, now that we have done that, we'll go to the other side now and defeat uh, Wan Hai, Zhang Munchong, and Zhang Bao. And actually, if I recall correctly, if I'm right, but I'm not gonna find out here. If you def uh, if you attack either Zhang brother, Zhang Bao, or Zhang Liang from the back. You don't have to worry about the sorcery, but uh, I'm going to entice both and negate both, so we'll be fine with that. Alright, there's one high. We'll defeat him next. Now let's go and defeat Zhang Bao. Then we'll take it from there. Well, Zhang Munchong first. You don't have to worry about the geysers as much. Just make sure you're not close to them. Alright, 
now Zhang Bao. And like I said, you don't have to worry about the geysers as long as you're not near them. Like I almost got hit by one right there. Um, but as long as you're not near one, you should be fine. I think this is the easier one out of them, uh, out of the two. Well, three technically, if you uh, include Zhang Jiao's. But uh, Zhang Jiao's sorcery will only occur if you defeat both Zhang brothers. So you don't have to worry about that here if you keep both of them alive. Um, if you keep one of them alive, or if you play any of the stages prior to this, Yellow Terminus Menace or Yellow Terminus Fortress, and I know I am like a fucking broken record every fucking time I say this, but I'll say it again anyway just to keep an update. Um, if you play either or the two stages and you allow either Zhang brother to retreat, then they will appear here. So you can either skip the stage or have them retreat and then they will appear here. Um, same before uh right all right there goes Han Xian. how much time have I wasted 10 minutes all right I'm hoping to be done by 15 but you know what I feel like this is the right time to stop like and kill a little bit of time you know what maybe I'll defeat Show song first, but uh, anyway, so as I was saying, if you keep one of the two alive or have one of the two retreat and they will appear here, it doesn't matter which one, then Zhang Jia will not entice his sorcery. And his sorcery is boulders, but when you hit them, they will explode on impact. And I think they're a little bit more worse in comparison to the uh. Uh, what is it? The uh, regular boulders. So, actually, I'm gonna go over here and kill a little bit of time. I don't. I do not know how much time I'm gonna be killing because uh, Zhang Jiao's morale is at one. But at the same time, we're talking about the first stage, and even though it's the first stage, I have seen troops kill off officers, and they had zero morale. So like I said, it's the first stage. Oh boy. You know what? I'm going to kill a little bit of time. Hopefully, it's not going to be a lot. Um, if I feel like it's coming close, then I'm going to resume so I will be right back all right I'm back and during the time nothing really the only real thing that changed was well other than Zhang Jiao losing more troops he also lost Liu Pi in the process so just to play it safe I'm gonna go right towards Zhang Jiao and defeat him because I have a funny feeling that um, what is it I have a funny feeling that um, What's his name? Let's see here. Yeah, I have a funny feeling they're gonna kill off Wang Xiao. So, I do not want them to do that and secure the gate because if they do that, then uh, the game will end. And uh, as much as I want the game to end, I don't want it to end that way. I'm looking to gain as much weapon experience as I can, yet at the same time, not uh, have a retreat. Ah, damn it. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Alright, let's try it again. Maybe one more hit will do it, but uh, I still have another two minutes. I want to try to milk as little time as I can. 
Wong Shao looks perfectly fine. I mean, he has full health. But, uh, I do not want him to fall, just in case if, uh, if the gate gets secured. So, if the gate gets secured, then I'm going to have to defeat him quickly. And he has double attack. And the gate captain is about to fall. So, I have a... I have 90 seconds to keep him alive. Oh, 94. So maybe if I stay by Huang Xiao, I might be able to do it. He is losing some health though. And there goes the gate. So I can't defeat Huang Xiao now. Because if I defeat him, then uh, he's really fucking chasing me, ain't he? If he loses half, half of his health, then I'll go and defeat Zhang Xiao. Right now is a fucking cat and mouse game, and as much as I don't want to do that, I'm going to. With 50 more seconds to go. Oh uh, shit. And he's losing more health. I got 20 seconds. I don't think he's gonna die that quickly. I'll be shocked if he does. Fuck it, not chancing it. My spirit shall prevail in the heavens. And that's a win. Alright, so I don't think I got the time, but the other two are perfectly fine. And like I said, I still have the other three stages, well, four technically, if I'm playing all three, but um, then it's definitely, uh, anyway, two seconds shy, shit. Anyway, items, I doubt I got anything good. Really high items for that stage, but still nothing. So we were two seconds shy. I might have gotten the 20 minutes. It, uh, it could have been either or, but you know what? I'm going to play it safe. And I still have the battle of Guandu and then one of the two campaign against stages, if not both. But uh, I'm going to try and test that out anyway. Uh, KO count is 240. We defeated nearly everybody in the stage. The only two that we didn't defeat are Wong Xiao and uh, Liu Pi. So, and we have a good 5,778 points. So, that will put our rank to rank 3. And I think that's it. Because uh, I think rank 2 is 40,000 or 48,000. If it's not 40,000, then it is 48,000. And then the final one is... Uh, 60,000. Anyway, the weapon experience, we have 3,670 points, obviously not even close to uh, level 9. Like I said, I wasn't expecting it, but um, anyway. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We will save. Uh, And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we will take on the next act. Which pretty much, we're going to go right into the Battle of Hulao Gate. So, peace out.